ทมันเจงอ่อนปอนยุบชนเสถนาที่ตะปีโจรวมประกุดพระเชงสมัติเพียบเลือวิญญาาประลองเชื้อเรือเสพกายนาที่ตะปีตูเตงประเทศวิญญาาจดเจ็ดดังดาวชีซาเทระนาเชื้อพิซาขมายลึงวิญญาซาจดเจ็ดดังดาวชีซาเทระนาเชื้อพิซาอองเล่แต่มีไซต์ตัวปิดให้ชันต่อให้ประหอจะปีมองตะปีสามสบิตีตะมองมุยสามสบิตีโรเซียลขนมเฟสบุ๊กเพกเนี่ยปันโตเวนรวมวันทมสำหรับประชาชนจีลิพีแตงออกรวมเมียนโมโตกองจุดเตอร์เนื้ออาหารรูปกรมาหนึ่งตึกประเชียงมวยรอยหาสะประมัยลิ้นเรียลดาเปียโจรวมประกุดประเจงไอเลยนี่ตามตู้รับเลยโซนมาไปไปกาเรปรามุยปรามรอยหาสะประมโซนไปสะประมุยประมุยรอยปรามไปประไปรอยไปสะประมุนโซนดับมุยประมุยรอยสายสะไปโซนสามสะประมุยกัมพูชีนี่สหการเรียบจอมดอยวิชิสถานซีอีโอหนึ่งซีอีโอมาสเตอร์คลับโอปทอมทุ่มดอยโทนี่กีไอเกเตอีออนแคมบูเดียพีเอลซีสหการโอปทอมดอยโทนี่กีอภิวัตจุนบอดกรมหุ่นแคมเปญนำปัวจีดเปียบปกมาได้ดอกบางเชิงใจทานเตยขจมตายแต่ตัวบ้านสกเดสลายดอกกะกระดาบีบงเปล่ากอดเฉนี่ยมือไทยขจมจันเนตมันทามินหึงเอาไว้กัดล้างไงกอดคล้ายเฉนี่ยตุ่มหนบบุมร้องขนมขู่ซาแตงครูนักเมงกอดเธอประกอบท่าพระโอนใส่กอดตัวตัวบ้านกาศักษากรุบชุ่มชุ่ยตัวตัวบ้านเนอไว้ไว้เดี๋ยวเนี่ยดอกเตยมินดังประกอบท่าพระโอนใส่บกกอดจุกใจนักขนมชีวิตก้อนในตายในเธอจะบองเพราะหล่อนังจะได้คู่ดอนหล่อคงจะบดขยมมาสายเบียดได้หล่อขมิ้นกูปรีบไม่ก็มันเลียนทำทนอกมาเอ็กซ์ตร้าทำไมคลั่งเด็กกาเปียเปียนประสิทธิพิบอาวงไงจังเลือกคลั่งกับบ้านเลือกหรือมองกับบ้านคำเพนทนำปัวจีบยมประกาศต้นบันเทิงยมจังเรียบจอมกล่าวอ้อยล้อจริงดิยุบจังแทมสระมุดีพอมันไอ้พวกเรียกชีพกรรมที่ยังบานตาเนี่ยกบงตระกาดัมต้นพวกเรียกชีพกรรมเมนเต้ไอ้เล่านี่ทุนี้กีอภิวัตชนบทหนังกาศกรรมรอจุนอันเตียนกอมโตรสัพกรรมสหกรีทนโตยหนึ่งมัดชุ่มจีมวยหนึ่งอัตราคาปะกรัมจะปรามพิโรยปนอกน้องมวยชั่มกำใจปรามปนดอลลาร์คาปะตั้งแต่มาพายมวยดอลลาร์ปนอกน้องมวยไข่ทุนี้กีอภิวัตชนบทหนังกาศกรรมดำใบกาศกรหนึ่งอภิวัตเศรษฐกิจสองกลุ่มเตจิตมุยคลังหรืออาไตรแตงสรงเลือดทนเทียนมนุษย์คลังดามใบโจรวมคอสร้างคุณเพียบทนเทียนมนุษย์กัมพูชีอ่อยกันใจคลังวิจิตรสถานซีอีโอตัวตัวสวากุมเซอร์นิสเซอร์โมตตัวกาปดอบันดาเนวิจิตรสถานซีอีโอณปารยาปัดกรุ๊ปครองพฤติกรรมอ่อนตระเชี่ยเซอร์นิสเซอร์ไดมอสซาเนวิจิตรสถานซีอีโอหนึ่งตัวตัวบานกาบอมบักอ่อยคลายเชี่ยบกกลักปูกายเนตักนมปูกายเนตรบซีปูกายกาโรเคยเด็กสอลจุกจีปีกำนาตามระยะปัจจัยพิจิตรคู่ขบานลำดับปีทุบลูกเรดสแกนกาเรียนอนุวัตเจ้าสไนนังตะตุบานจุ่มนิ่งเปิดประกอบมวยร้อยเพรอยกาบังเบิกต่อยเนตจุกจีขนงอาชีพนังอาชีพกรรมเปิดประกอบกาสักตาบันไทม์เหลือจุ่มนิ่งพิซาจันพิซาอังเล่จุ่มนิ่งคอมพิวเตอร์จุ่มนิ่งตุ่มเนตตุ่มนงนังจุ่มนิ่งดีเยจีซานทิรณะกาที่เหนือกาเงียบเถื่อบรรจบปีบรรจบกาสักตาเนื้อเพื่อบรรจบการศึกษาเนื้อวิชาสถานซีอีโอนิสต์หนึ่งกระตุ้นบานจุ่มนิ่งชุบบ้านหล่ออาจเพื่อการนำตู้ในตีจีเนตตักนอมหนึ่งกระตุ้นบานประจมนกปูจีมวยวิชาสถานซีอีโอเยื่องรวมเขี่ยอสร้างทนเทียนมนุกรรมปุจีเอาการแต่คลั่งเลือดชะเชียดหนึ่งชะอ่อนตระเชียดปอดวินบอลไทม์ส้มแตะตรงตู้รับเลยโซนมาเผยใบกาเรปรามวยปรำห้าปรำโซนมาเผยใบกาเรปรำมวยปรำปูนไก่ปรำปูน
ยชื่อสถาน CEO คล้ายเชียวพบตลักปูกายเนี่ยนักน้อมปูกายเนี่ยรบซีปูกายนอมหมกจูนดอยวิจิสถานซีอีโอบงพักในสัตว์อ่อยคล้ายจีบกกระลึกปูกายเนี่ยดักน้อมปูกายเนี่ยรกซีปูกายหนึ่งคล้ายคล้วนจีเนี่ยมีทั้งไงนากดซีอีโอมาสเตอร์คลับบงพักมาจ่ายชีวกรรมอ่อยคล้ายจีเนี่ยดักน้อมธุรกิจกำปูลทอนี่กีไอเกตีออนแคมโบเดียพีเอลซีสามันรอฮะเงียสรูลธนิกีอภิวัตชนบทหนึ่งกสิกรรมดำใบกสิกอหนึ่งอภิวัตเศรษฐกิจสังคมงวนสิทาเมียนบมราจุนเสวาดอดะหนึ่งปโดประรอห้าตอนเจ็ดปโดจุนเนกมใจศึกษาดอนิสต์พร้อมแต่งปโดลกาการเงียจีจันกันไหลปวารเมียนบนไทม์สมเตะตองตามเลขโทรศัพท์โซนเจ็ดสับปรำปีปรำใบรอยมาไพปีโซนแปดสับปรำใบโซนเจ็ดสับปรำใบรอยมาไพปีโซนแปดสับปรำใบกรมหุ่นถนอมปอเจียดแคมแพนจีจุมเรือดำใบสาวพ่อนเพียบกระทันุนทุกคนกระทันุนทุกคนและกระทันุนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคนทุกคน A beautiful lady from Belti, and to my left we have a very handsome guy from. Uh, where from? Bari k u m p u Okay. All right. Uh, before we begin the competition, I would like to thank our sponsors uh, for supporting us from the, the beginning till now. First of all, we would like to thank Eon Specialized Bank. Um, simple, efficient, and easy. Secondly, we would like to thank uh, Agricultural and Rural Development Bank of Cambodia. Third, we would like a, a special thank to Nguyen Sitha. Uh, Nguyen Sitha has deposit services, cash withdrawals, and exchange currencies. Uh, moreover, Nguyen Sitha also provides student loans to students and willing to provide jobs opportunities. For more information, please contact 077-822-088 or 070-822-088. And lastly, thanks to Campaign for supporting the Netmaton program. So, To both of you, are you guys prepared for the competition? Yes, I yes. am. Yes. So prepared. Yes. yes. So I'm expecting like a, a very good debate or a very good discussion from both of you. Okay. Uh, if you don't mind, can you introduce yourself to the audience? I uh, so first of all, I would like to pay my respect to Brother Sapravit and my opponents and everyone who is watching this program right now. My name is Romina. I am a 12 graders of Belty International School, Campus 12, s a d e h o i Today is such a great honor for me to be a part of the m o n t a l w i n program and to present you such a marvelous topic, which is about failing the national exam. It's the worst thing for a grade 12 student. Okay, th thank you so much for the introduction, and uh, it was a very wise and a very clear introduction from you. And now, yes. would you mind introduce yourself to the audience? Okay, yes. First of all, good afternoon, good afternoon. good afternoon, my partners, and good afternoon all the audiences that is watching live on Nematovic's page. On Nematovic's page, my name is Tri Seng Hu, and I'm a grade 12 student from s a m d a i h o n San p r e k o b u High School, located in Phnom Penh. Today, I'm so excited because I have a great opportunity to interpret a worthy topic that we're gonna talk about. Failing the national exam is the worst thing for grade 12 students. I hope you guys enjoy it with us. Thank you. Now, failing exams is a very uh, disastrous event for students, and especially I myself also failed once in my life, once, maybe twice, maybe three or four times. But yes, uh, you get the idea. Whenever I fail my exam or didn't achieve whatever I want, I feel bad and I kind of look down on myself for a very long time. So now today is a very special. Uh, to, today is also one of the very special topic is that. Failing the internet, uh, the national exam is the worst thing for 12 t h grade students, or is it? Now, um, Lina, would you like to go first? Um, may you go first? <laughs> All right. Uh, would you mind to go first then, s i n g h o All right, please. Okay. You have three minutes. As we know, passing the national exam is really important thing for grade 12 t h students. But if you fail the national exam, it isn't the worst thing for you, but it's a good thing for grade 12 t h students. Yes, even though we fail the national exam, if we, uh, if we fail the national exam, it's not a big deal for us because something that important if we still continue working on the path that can lead us to be success in the future. So my opinion for this topic is 
Failing the national exam isn't the worst thing for grade 12 students, so I have found three choices to do if we fail the national exam. The first choice is talking about decision to continue to the college with associate degree. Yes, students have chance have chan to continue have chance to choose any subjects or faculty with associate degree. Yes, and students can also choose any skill with associate associate degree and for to study for two years. And after two years with associate degree, students have chance to continue to bachelor degrees at the third years, and they have two years more for graduation. Okay, and my second point is talking about decision to learn any specific skill. Yes, if students don't have wish to continue to study at the college with associate degree, they have chance to choose any specific skill to learn, such as mechanic, salon, or repairing, installing, or designing, or any skill that. It can they can choose to learn for two years and also skill they learn can have two years period to learn and the skill they learn it they, they have learned it can afford, afford to their lives their living standard and yes nowadays we saw that many people use their specific skill to to earn to live for example like air conditioning repairers or hairdresser or plumbers or agent of any devices. So students have chance to develop to grow their lives, their lives as normal. And the last point is talking about decision to continue to study for the to continue for the four years in grade twelve. Yes, it is the last choice. It is the last decision. When you fail the national exam, you think you can continue to the college with associate degree, but you don't. And you don't know yourself clearly. What is your favorite subject? What is your favorite skill? So you can try my last decision is. To continue to study for double years at grade 12. So, but make it different from the last years by setting your goal at the beginning of the years that this year I I want I will try to study, I want to get grade A, B, C or D. Yes, when you can do like that, you will find a new result that okay. That what is and you will find a new result that what is your favorite skill, what is your favorite subject, and you will and and what is your favorite subject to learn after you finish your high school? Yes, as I said at the beginning, failing the national exam isn't the worst thing, but it isn't a good thing for grade 12 students. So when we fail the national exam, it makes us waste years, waste a lot of money. We can go to studies or universities as the as like us past students. And sometimes we can make we can broke our parents' mind. And conclusion. I want to say that a failing the national exam isn't the worst thing because we still have chance, we still have choice to continue to the college with associate degree or we can learn the specific skill. And I want you to look, to look out that if you fail the national exam, it's, it's not mean that you failed your life. And, and also look out to the past student, the past exam, it's not mean that they success, they success in their life. Thank you. Yes. All right, thank you so much for the speech, and it was a very touching and also informational. Yes. So uh, now, Lina, if you're not ready, then I'm you ready. have then you have to go. Then you also have to go. Okay. Yeah. So um, before we get into a topic, I would like to explain about the purpose of the national exam. So basically, students needed to take the exam in order to further their education in university or college and to have high school diploma. Right now, I would like to express my opinion toward the topic which I completely disagree to the statement saying failing the national exam is the worst thing for grade 12 students and I have three evidence to back it up. First, failing the national exam doesn't mean we can't further our education. As you can see, a lot of universities in Cambodia are offering students who didn't pass the grade 12 exam a chance to enter what is called associated degree, which allow them to enter the university or the college of their choice without having high school diploma. Moreover, they can even continue to study abroad as long as they have certification from IL or TOEFL. Second, failing the national exam doesn't mean we can't take it again. Ladies and gentlemen, take this as a reminder that there isn't any rule stated that we can't take the exam again if we happen to fail for the first time. Students can easily go back to the class and try their best to pass the exam. Yes, I do acknowledge that it is such a waste of time, but one year of grade 12 isn't a long time. Moreover, I already mentioned in my previous point that there is a second option, which is getting the associated degree in the university or the college of their choice. Last but not least, 
failing the national exam doesn't have a huge impact on our future career. A lot of people, especially old generation, tend to say that failing the national exam is the worst thing for grade 12 students because they won't be able to find a great job in the future. But I am here to prove them wrong. Let me tell you what they needed you to be in order to be employed by a company. First, have a basic knowledge in Khmer. Second, get a degree in a major. Last but not least, be fluent with a foreign language, especially English. As you can see, none of this stated that we needed high school diploma in order to get a great job. You know why? Well, because they don't value high school diploma as much as before. But what they are value in employee and in human is creativity, ambition, capability, capability, ability, and emotional intelligence. Therefore, failing the national exam isn't the worst thing for a grade 12 student. In conclusion, you mustn't think that failing is the end of the world. And failing the national exam isn't the worst thing for a grade 12 student. Thank you very much. All right, thank you so much, Lina, for the speech, and it was very also helpful to other students as well that having that having the same uh, the same questions like, what if I fail? What should I do? Or for those who fail and doesn't know what to do, then these two have the best ideas ever in the world could come up with. So now, are you ready for the questioning time? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um. Questions specifically to Lina, all right. Um, as you mentioned earlier, you said degree is not important. Yes. It's it's kind of important, but not that important. So, and you mentioned that if you have ability, yes. Passion. Passion. Emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. You will do fine, just like other people, just like other people with degree. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. So, what claims do you have, like? How like um as as in Cambodian society, people value degrees more than all of those. Like, if you have degrees, then you can go to the university. Then as a as a Cambodian citizen, yes. What are you going to do if you do not have the degree and but you have all of those stuff? Do you yes. understand the question? So it's been that. You, what do you mean is a uh, high school diploma, right? Yeah, high school okay. diploma. It's a national exam, so it's yes. it's it's a high school kind of diploma or a bachelor. Yes. Degree. So do you understand? Yes, I do understand. Thank you very much for your question. So if you don't have a high school diploma or a high school degree, there is actually a lot of jobs that require you to have creativity, persuasion, emotional intelligence, capability, ability, and those kind of jobs are actually. Starting from artists, as you can see, a lot of young teenagers are really creative when it comes to art. They can, they can draw, they can imagine, and moreover, they can even earn money from just drawing from what they are doing in their own imagination. Moreover than that, as you can see nowadays, music is one of the top, top famous and very popular in our Cambodian society. And young teenagers tend to earn money from music. So what I'm trying to say is that they can earn it from their own creativity, from their own imagination. And they even knew how to persuade people to like their own music. And they can earn income from that every year, every day, every time. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you for the answer now. To you, Mr. Singh Hua. Yes. Um, can you mention some of the most useful or beneficial um, associate degrees uh, or associate majors like can you mention some of those so that you, it, it's a recommendation to other people some of the job yes yeah, yeah some of the subjects or majors that has associate degrees yes i think that uh, the subjects that is important uh, associate degree i think that is lawyers Lawyers or degrees or All right. Uh, let, let let me rephrase this. Like, um, what kind of skills that 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 doesn't need degrees in order to achieve or master? Do you know like how many skills can uh, how many skills are those that without degree that but you can also master? Do you understand the question? Like what skill, for example, mechanics or oh, yes, doing yes. something, a farmer or something. Okay, yes. Yes, I do understand it. 
yes the skill that is can get the degrees is like mechanic or repairing or designing or any skill that can use it to uh, that many people use it to earn to live every day so. mm, okay yes. so you mentioned uh, the, the key the key point is that okay mechanics designing yes. and also uh, repairing repairing yes. something like that yes all right okay a oh, very beautiful uh, a beautiful answer now let's get back to the hot topic of my question today all right now um to lina what are the possible ways that make students fail their national exam possible way that make them fail yeah yes. um okay um thank you for your question actually there are many possible way that make them fail the national exam as you can see during this pandemic online classes doesn't really bring a lot of benefit to students especially when it comes to laziness <laughs> so students tend to feel that why should i even bother get into class when the class were already recorded and there's a lot of content for me to study so they don't really care about the online classes during this pandemic so the possible way that they felt it because of laziness moreover than that they don't really care whether the, the exam gonna come up or not because they think that the school won't let them fail they just think that the school would let would allow them to pass easily without uh, giving a care to the exam moreover than that what the, the possible way that they that they can fail the exam easily is mostly about their health as you can see um during this pandemic our eye are having blur vision and exam and having exam without a good vision is kind of bad and there is a possible way that you can fail the exam mm. That's so all. so basically it's their mentality yeah mentality. the way they think yes. like all right oh, okay the school won't let me fail so yeah. i'm just gonna uh, leave it mostly student think like that okay now do you agree to what she said yes for me i agree to what she said and i thought i also want to add more yes the possible way that made the student fail the national exam is the word wait yes wait 10 minutes i will do my exam yes wait tonight i will do my homework and especially nowadays is COVID-19 so uh, many a lot of students in Cambodia is studied by online class but they think that online class is so boring so yes make it skip school yes and yes that's it all okay now um this is a very good question um to you Mr. Seng Hua before break of course now do you think exams are mandatory for students and why or why not or in other words do you think exams are really important or necessary for students why or why not yes for me yes thank you for this, this very good question yes i think that exam is really important and it's, it's necessary for the students because every work and every place uh, workplaces they really need to employ the sure the human resources that has finish school that they have master of the job and especially the expert person to complete their work yes yes all right okay now lina do you agree to what he said um i don't really agree to what he said because i don't think exam is really that important because as you can see nowadays what they really needed in employees is creativity persuasion and emotional intelligence and capability ability so if you need an exam just to apply for a job that's really really important for that what so basically exam isn't really important for students they can just go straight to work as long as they have the ability they have the degree they have the certification from IEL as well so this is my answer okay so you're basically think that if you have the ability so without exams you will do well as well yes. it doesn't matter where you are what you do as long as you have the passion to do it yes then everything will go as and planned i also mentioned degree as well yes. yes okay now um ladies and gentlemen we have uh, come to a break of course and a, sh a very short break this time now if uh do if you have any question please drop your question down below so that our team can pin the question and ask the uh so that i can use it to ask the contestants and as well as um 
don't forget to show your support by likes and share and commenting down below in our uh, in, in in our post in order to show your support or uh, your supports to our beautiful contestants now um uh, it, without further ado we have to, uh, we have to take a break in fi uh, for five minutes thank you ຫນ້າຫມົກຈຸດດາວວິຊາສະຖານຊີອີໂອບົງພັກ <coughs> ងួនសិទ្ធាមានបម្រើជុនសេវាដកដាក់និងផ្ដោះប្រាក់រហ័សតាន់ចិត្តផ្ដោះជូននៅកំចៃសិក្សាដល់និស័តព្រមទាំង
are a very bad kind of pressure? Um, yes, I do. It is a it is a bad pressure for students. As you can see nowadays, um, the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sport are giving students a hard time, especially for private school students. Um, they just tell the student that the exam will be on this time, on this time, on the other time, or maybe next year. And the students are having a mental breakdown, or we can, um, a pressure from the Ministry of education, youth and sport. So they tend to say that um, the exam is really a bad for me. I could not take it. I could not go or I could not do well in exam because of this. And moreover, they tend to think that um, when it's come to their own school, it's kind of pressure them because they think that their school would give them a hard time, especially on examination. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, uh, this is a very good question from Mr. Rod Pit Wiener. Uh, I, I apologize if I pronounce your name wrong, but his question is, since you guys haven't reached university yet, so you can answer on your own opinion. belief, yes. yeah, opinion. So, is failing university exam worse than grade 12? Oh, okay. Yes. That you may. <laughs> you may go first. Uh, can you explain me? Um, like, like, okay. Uh, twelfth grade. Uh, twelfth grade exam. We have bad dope. Is it? Yes. Isn't it? So, if if you fail bad dope, you feel like, oh no, I'm a bad student. But yes. since you passed bad dope, but then you went to university and then you fail horribly in the university exam. Oh. Like, is is it worse than failing bad dope, or is it better than failing bad dope? His question is, is is like that. What is what is your opinion on that? Like, would you rather fail university exams or would you rather fail bad dope exam if it were you? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you for this question. I think that I would fail. I would fail the university exam because I think that if I fail the bad dope exam, I can't continue to study at university. But when I study at university, I can have a lot of chance to learn to have. To learn to have more knowledge that I have made at the university. So if I fail, I also have chance to continue like open my business, open my own business, or or apply for another jobs in our country. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank now, uh, Lina, what about you? Is failing university exams or worse than grade twelve? Um. Thank you for your question. Actually, I think it's really bad, and I would feel bad if I actually fell in college. Because as you can see, most of the job requirement actually require you to have GPA 4 mm -hmm. or GPA 2, which is half of the 4. And having GPA is great for you to get a high paid job. And if you fell in college, it's like you fell in one of your major, one of the job that you wanted to do so much. It's so, failing in college is really bad actually. So that is all for my question, all for my answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, now another question uh, from Gang Pui Lee. All right, I apologize again if I pronounce your name wrong because I can't, I cannot pronounce like good names. Yes, good names because my name is also weird. Okay, <laughs> why some people fail the national exam but they succeed in their life? What might be, what might be the way or what what might be the cause that they succeed, or they might like skip college and do something else, or would they like acquire something new? Yes. What is your what is your idea about this? Which one would like to go first? All right, I go first. Okay. So thank you for your question, and actually, the reason why they can do well in their life, even though they fail the national exam, is because that. They continue to study and to, or to get the associate degree in the university of their own choice, and those associate degree actually have a high paid job, can provide a high paid job. For example, dental hygienist, physical therapist assistant, artist, musician, and moreover than that, they can even start their own business even though they don't have high school diploma, as long as they have creativity, as I have mentioned before. It is really important for them to start their own new start their own new thing for their own future career. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Uh, now, Sing Hu, what do you think about this? Yes, for me, I think that students that fail the national exam but they success in the business. Yes, I think that 
although they fail the national exam, it's not mean that they don't have any specific skill. They have own, they have their own ideas, so they can they can open their own business and sometimes they can be entrepreneurs that can have a lot of uh, that they can decrease the decrease the employment rate in our country also yes mm -hmm. okay now we almost reach an end of our competition and i apologize to all those people who asked questions and we couldn't use it uh, due to the time constraint so um you both have to ask each other one question one final question which is the ultimate question that will either destroy destroy your opponent or help your opponent so who would like to go first i do all right okay um i have a question for you which is related to family economy system so if your family economic system is very bad and you fail your national exam how would it affect you as a student and how would it affect you affect your parents as a people who bring income to your family okay yes thank you that is really touchful fashion yes if i'm in a family that's very so poor and i failed the national exam the thing that impact very strong is my parents because they there is there is the earners for they earn income for our families but I am a child and not doing well with my exam. So, yes, it really is a touchful. They are feeling that they can, they try to earn money for me. So, if so, if I want to recover everything, I will try to study more and more or study for the whole years. But by setting another, by setting goal that this year I will try to study. Yes, I will. I don't. I will promise. Pro promise to my parents that I will get the good good grade for my national exam again. Yes. All right. Now, are you satisfied with his uh, yeah, with his is, answer? I'm, I'm sorry, very satisfied. And yes. do you have anything to add up more to this, or you have any ideas beside his? Uh, I I don't actually have more idea to add on, but I do have more questions. Am I allowed to ask? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. All right. <laughs> now, uh, Singho, it's your turn to ask her a question. Okay. Okay. Yes, for me, I also have a question for you. If our country have a high percentage rate of students failing the national exam, what happened to our society or our countries? Yes, thank you for your question. As you can see, um, in 2014, in 2014, there is a high rate of students failing the national exam. And you know what the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sport do, did, right? Yes, they allow them to take the exam again. And the percentage of the student failing is decreased and there are more students passing. So the, not only does it help the economy to grow, but it produces more human resources, as you can see. As, as you can see. Um, moreover than that, the, their way of solving this problem also help students to know what it's like to be a human resource and to start their own business to help opening up more job opening or job marketing for those employees who needed a job. So that is my answer. Yeah, okay. Now, yes. Singhu, are you satisfied with her answer? Yes, for me, I do agree some of point, her points. Yes, I also want to add more. Okay. Yes, if our countries have a high percentage rate of failing students, it not mean that we fail a lot of human resources but human resources is come from the failure students yes because when they fail they will try to study try more and try more to become human resources for our countries mm -hmm. yes. all right all right okay uh, since the questioning is is done and yes. it's almost over as well um now lina you have one minute to do the final conclusion or aka reply speech Can we go first? All right. Can I go first? Okay. Would you mind to go first? Okay. All right, please. One minute. Yes. For find uh, for conclusion, I want to sum up that if you fail or passing, if you fail the national exam, please don't care a lot. Don't care. Yes, but please don't give up because we still have chance. We still have opportunity to continue our life. So, yes, it means that we still have choice to do after we fail the national exams. Yes, as I have. Said at the, at the uh, as I said at the beginning, yes, that's at all. 
All right. Now it's your turn. Okay. So in conclusion, failing the national exam isn't the worst thing for a grade four student. Uh, therefore, as a grade four student, we mustn't give up even though we fail. As you know, failing is not the end of the world, and we there's a lot of opportunity, there's a lot of chances for you to recover or to redeem yourself after failing. You can always go back to school and try your best to pass the exam, or you can just go straight to the university and get your degree and try your best to start your own business and get a, a great future career. Therefore, please vote for me as 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 our 12th graders. All right. Thank you so much for astonishing delivery. The uh, de deliveries. Um, Switch. I am so moved to hear your ideas, both of you, of course. Now, um, as to all the brothers and sister out there who are wondering, like, what you should do and what you should not do, <laughs> uh, before batch two, and these two have the best answer for you. And for those who have failed the exams last year. Do not do not lose hope as as they said uh, don't care but also don't give up all right before we end the, the competition I would like to thanks to CEO Institute and CEO master club for your enormous support in the network program and as well as learn online Cambodia is the newest and easiest online learning platform in Cambodia it helps Cambodians to achieve their dreams success happiness encouraging growth in order to help Cambodia uh, become a developed country. Learning Online Cambodia helps lives more successful. All right, we have come to an end of our competition, and we and we will see you guys, our beloved audience, next week on Thursday, uh, fr uh, the same time from twelve p.m. to one p.m. All right, um, we wish you a very good uh, a very good week, and see you next week. សមត្ថភាពលើវិញ្ញាសាប្រឡងជ្រើសរើសពូកាយថ្នាក់ទី ដាក់ពាក្យចូលរួមប្រកួតប្រជែងឲ្យលើនេះតាមទូរស័ព្ទលេខ <coughs> ពីនៅលើវិញ្ញាសានីមួយនីមួយក្នុងការប្រកួតប្រជែងសិស្សឹងតែជាវិញ្ញាសាទាក់ទងតែនឹងបញ្ហាចម្ងរបស់សតិដ
the further I walk, the further I reach, the more knowledge I can get. Tôi bảo nó cọt cọt lợn dây lỏ này, cọt hả? Mình sừng không ta châu rung cam thì nó từ tu ban trăm phía này, còn đây chỉ lớn này, chỉ cà riêng, anh nó cứ lo mình thôi. Khơi ôn ôn, không bằng riêng sốt ôn ôn, miên ốc ca, đại bị môn máu của bạn nó không ca xoay rồi cả hai đồng cô. Ngày đấy còn là khơi, ở chiến sản đó là hai đồng cô đã chơi lịch thì nghe tổng hôm thực trạng đó hốt đòn một khi cũng bay liền bốn chân năm. Hay ngày đấy nhưng khơi mình mình chờ, hay nhưng trong phải chạy môi điện một tận nạp phía bay chậm bon bọc nhau mũi chiêng sang gặp bùa chiêng à gì chiêng bản đa và tê xin xin nhưng mà khai như vậy chúng ta một tận nạp phía thà sang gặp bùa lo chứ chứ khai như sang gặp bùa cứ không bay không bay dương chờ đào chiêng chân đang ngay chi tụm peang snow rồi xây chi cầm lăng snow mũi đồng bay chui và tê chi dương. Hay chúng khơi thà phụ quan bất chi miền cà phê phải thông mệt tên hay khiêm bất chi miền sài gòn sầm phơi bất chi đại khơi cà lụt loa đập bọt hay khiêm tây tây miền sài gòn sầm khâm thà phụ quan cứ chi anh nào cứ nơi nét đặc nom tiếng khăn ông vi say ai cái chân có ai đôi chi là thằng vi say để cho nó thà bị ba nơi phía anh nào cứ để tạm cô bầm non đập bọt đi đường luôn cam vịt thi bản tỏ viên có chi cam vịt thi muối đang bày top shop pi pon pon này nơi thà thi đập pi chơi pon pon này nơi thà thi đập pi cứ dừng chập đam sao shop khnề ai hỏi đang bày pon pon ban school Pi Vichistan CEO, kalau dia ban sekolah pi setan abhib neng pak daya kah tu rakyat. Perlu kalau mau, pon-pon ai mien tu senak bisai, mien kau dah terem tay tha, rian hari neng tu kah bayi mui, dan bayi ban prai cemno. Jeng awak ban tu ban rian hari ban tu kah ni bayi mui, tu prai cemno kau cak. Pi cerah si Tom Ra kau yang kering cak. Kau bantai. วิจิตรซันซีโอจังไอ้ปนคืนเติมมากับรัฐเตียนเติมชุลงมวยเตียนถ้าปนปนมันอายเนี่ยมันแมนมีนออกการทำแต่เธอการหนุ่ยแต่ปนปนอายมีนออกการคลายเติมจีเน่ดึกนอมทุรกิจดึกนองวิสัยไอ้กระจนคลายเติมจีสหกรณ์คลายเติมจีมาจ้ากระมหนจีมาจ้าสหกรณ์ได้ชูรวมจำนายอภิวัตรปฏิจจียงบานฉันตามระยะการบังการผลิตภัณฑ์ศิลปกรรมทำไมทำไม Tam rồi dạ ca bằng cách ca nghe IPG bộ đoàn thường vừa làm bài cắt bản thói chậm nạ xa đông Hay tam rồi dạ ca khai tự chí tí kiện lại đại bản đông mà nụ hỏi bản khăn đại trang được cả lại ca nghe Nâng chô rùm chậm nạy nâng được nông ca bằng cách chậm nôn chậm nôn chú chú đoàn tạm dạ ca bằng quân Nâng chìa mà chạc xa đông Đại chìa chạc rực chạc cô lực nông xe đi kịch Đào đường mong đồ bọc bởi thị khám bởi chìa đồ bọc dưỡng Thế nên xa đông bóng bởi ra có đôi bóng vị thu tư cư quên chân mến tên Cư ca co sang thôn thiên mà nụ Thôn Thiên Mình Nô Cam Vì Chia Bởi cái hai đó Đồn ta cùi cúng Dén đó nè Trên nó tích dưỡng khăn đó Thì thường có cực rộng Và tên mà Đồng bọn ấy Dương ai tỏ lọc Nó như tầm mơ của Bọt Tà Sa Với Bụi khám ái bên thông mà đá đi Hãy nhóm Khiêm khiêm Đất nam nâng chưa chạy thà Rương bà đọc bà đà Rương ọp rùm đi Cứ sống khăn Hãy mấy nâng chê liệp hì Thằng Pi nè Sất tầm áo bìm bình Để sạp tha ca Và cua nâng và cua tu tiên bà tê Ini yang punya um kelang ah, yeah. Pantai, pantai, ni apa nama pun, som bayan, nam koi, thai tom cing pin ni jom, bayan ni kait kita si wing, jeng kenong niem cie tem nang ria, ria jenis apa nama pun, kedoi cie tem nang awi sah pih sah pon jum jum kau macam cie, ria jenis apa nama pun, kena bat ngai ni mien mien ta mui tu kita rompoh sebaik ri ri menten, hai som op osato jumpu cie lipi, pon pro pon serai jeng pin ni, hai neng som op osato nur bijistan ceo, kedoi cie ceo master club de 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 ban de tertul jum cie kenong kang ni hai ko sôm chun po, ao ở vị trí ở Hàn Si Yếu, căn để chụp chơi thay một tiền, hơi có đôi chia, bật sôm ngoài cầm hôn đại cụ thằng ó, chồ rùm sạc ca, chui, hơi không niêm nhôm, to có đôi chia, kẹ nhiều tha có đôi chia có xuống, càng nghe đừng đồng nào gì biết, nơi tại châu rùm cầm trố, rồi sẽ cầm tiền bảo vị trí Hàn Si Yếu, không ca chưa rơ rơ, bài cái chôn có đôi chia chưa rơ rơ, nẹt đại miền sầm mặt tiếp, có đôi chia ca và đồng đá thôn thiên một nút, nó cầm với chia, đầm bấy châu rùm cầm trố đó. วิสัยสาขาการกระโดดจีการดักนอมระบบหรือรัฐบาลกัมพูชา